shouts of civil war. These Evo Morales supporters are prepared to fight for their ousted leader. Many marching into the capital La Paz come from the city of El Alto and other rural villages. They're demanding the resignation of the self-proclaimed interim president, Janine Añez. We will never give up the fight, never. How did they dare to force our brother Evo to resign? They accused him of stealing. Yes, he stole. He stole the hearts of many of us. There have been many demonstrations over the last 13 years, but the army never mobilized against us. It's been less than a week since this president was in power, and already she's put armed soldiers on the street. The police and the army recognize the government of Janine Añez. They are now seen as enemies by the protesters. One of them begs the soldiers to switch sides. MAS, the party of Evo Morales, denounces the coup. Four days after the coup, the people took to the streets to say that they don't want this. They want to restore democracy. Checkpoints block access to parliament and the presidential palace, a place that used to be a symbol of hope for these Morales supporters. The interim president now has three months to call elections in a country more divided than ever.